2022. And uh, do not be surprised about my appearance. My appearance signifies something. This appearance today signifies a new dimension of Woto Woto to the enemies of Mazen and the enemy of Biafra freedom. Today, we are going to open the chapter of Barista Ejiofok. For many of you who may not know what have happened and how Barista Ejiofok has been the tools of the Fulanese. The continued detention of Mazinam the Kano, Barista Ejiofok is directly influencing it. And today, you are going to know some of the things that will shock you. I am not going to do every exposition because you know, I don't fight anyhow. When I pick up a fight, I am sure of winning. And I'm not fighting for fighting sake. I'm fighting because before Onion Dumas in Amerika was kidnapped, some of you may think that we just came yesterday to the struggle. Before Mazinam the Kano was kidnapped, I promised him one thing. I said, I will be the last person that will disappoint him. On that particular promise, I will continue to keep and I will continue to make a renew every blessed day. So for this reason, it has become imperative for me to do this particular exposition today. Because this particular Biafra struggle and the liberation of Biafra is stage by stage. The enemies of Mazinam, Dekano and Biafra will be defeated and destroyed at the end of the day. Some of you do not understand that Barisa Ejiofo is the DOS. Immediately Mazinam Dikano was kidnapped. He become the DOS you are hearing. So we have destroyed the chaff outside and now it is time to uproot him. I come with a four Ogu. A four and Ogu. And everything I'm going to say here today, if I lie, everything Barista Geofor have done, let it work against me. But if everything I'm going to do here today about Barista Jofo is truth, I'm nothing but the truth. His downfall in Biafra struggle start today. Problem we follow him from today. So Mazen Namdikano will remove the cost. You all know that uh, I have defended Barista Ejiofo and at the same time I was cautioning him every now and then. Because I was protecting and preventing something. 
it is not every time somebody is bad, you fight the person. No. It is not every bad person you fight. And it is not immediately you know that somebody is bad, you fight that person. No. That is why when I want to fight, I don't fight for fighting's sake. I fight for the sake of Biafra. I fight for the sake of freedom. So when some people were attacking Barrister Ejiofo on my program, I defended him. I know why I defended him. It is not because I don't know what he was doing. It is not because I don't know what he did. I defended him. Today, I'm going to make a very shocking revelation to Biafrans. And uh, this particular broadcast is live, as we all can see. The video will be saved for Mazen Amdikano when he comes out. Because I know, after this broadcast today, things will change. For you to understand that Biafra struggle is not my personal thing, I did not take it personal. I didn't take Biafra struggle personal. I came to Biafra struggle and I say in the next five years, Biafra will come. And uh, believe me, within that five years, Biafra will come. Next year, we are now in 112 days. I'm going to share a story to Biafrans. When Mazin Namdekano was kidnapped, Barista Ejofo swing into action, very dangerous action. Imagine the Kanu told him that Simon Ekba should take over Biafra struggle and pilot it. I have not made this revelation to anyone. Barista Ejofo took it upon himself after he has engaged the caliphate and whoever he was working for. Some people say that the sound is not good. Can I hear that the sound is not good? So I don't, uh, I don't want you people to miss anything. The sound is low. Let us check the sound. We are going to check the sound. We don't, I don't want you people to miss anything today. All right, so here we go. So, how is the sound now? Let me to refresh. I hope the sound is very good now. The sound is very, very good. I believe so. Now, let me start afresh for clarity. After the kidnap of Mazin Namdekano, 
Mazen Amdekano gave order. I want Biafrans to understand the evil that Barista Ejiofo has done. That Simon Ekpa should pilot the affair of Biafra's struggle until he comes out. Barista Ejiofo came out and vowed that over his dead body will he see Simon Epa pilot the affair of Now ask yourself, is Barista Ejofo part of IPOB? Is Barista Ejofo an IPOB member? Or is Ejofo a Biafra agitator? Barista Ejofo vowed and swear that over his dead body will he allow Simon Epa to pilot the affair of Biafra. Barista Ejofo accused Mazin Namdekano that he has mental problem. That the way they tortured him in Kenya affected his brain. That is where the war started in IPOB. But it's the age of four swing into action. Summoned all the DOS, not all of them. He informed the Chike Dozeha, he informed Chinasa, the Muhammad Abbas in Kuwait, that on no condition will they allow Samonepa to pilot the affair of Biafra. Because Barista Age of Four have ulterior motive that you are seeing today. He knows that if Simonepa pilot the affair of Biafra, some of them who have collected money from the governors, who are rapporting with the politicians, who are now the agent of the government, the middlemen of the government, at the same time acting as lawyer of Mazinam Dikano, will never be relevant. So in order for Barista Ejofo to control Biafra's struggle and destroy it, he summoned the DOS and told them, that Onyendu say Simon Epa should take over. And he vowed that over his dead body should they allow Simon Epa. That was where the whole attack against Simon Epa started. You know, and let me tell you, all these things, I know it and it didn't bother me. Because I did not come to for self-aggrandizement and for selfish interest in Biafra struggle. Yet, I was still respecting a Geofor for one reason. For the reason being that he was still parading himself as person who represents Mazinam Dikano outside. But you know, the reason why I'm making this broadcast today is because he is gone. He's not relevant again. And I want to show to the Nigerian government that the reign of a Geofor in Biafra struggle as legal person or whatever is ending from today. It is, there is no Dibia that will reverse it. And I will be seeing a new lawyer. I don't know who that lawyer is. That will be leading this legal team any moment from now. I don't know. I'm not involved. But I'm telling you that the spirit of Biafra is as strong as anything. And you can't cheat that spirit. After the message came that Simon Ekpa should be given a slot, it was not a slot. But because of the reign of peace, if you go to my tweet, you are going to see that what I wrote in my tweet and everywhere I posted it was that Simon Ekpa was given a slot. Barista Joffo was behind all the attack 
against Simon Ekpa because he knows he can't control me. He knows he cannot collect the money he is collecting to control me. He knows he cannot get the influence he is getting from the politicians to control me. It is not possible. And then immediately I announced that I was given a slot to broadcast on Radio Biafra. Some of you may not understand where the hijacking and takeover is coming from. Because in my actions and my word and my writing, I have never for one day said or posted that I want to take over IPOB or take over Biafra struggle. I have never said anything like that. But you see them saying it. You don't know where it is coming from. It is coming from the message from Onyendu, which they know better than you. And the people that were giving them the message from Barista Jofo, they know exactly what Mazin Namdikanu said. And Barista Jofo opened his mouth to say, Mazin Namdikanu have mental problem. That he cannot, over his dead body, will he allow Simon Ekpa to pilot the affair of Biafra. So ask yourself, all this noise of Simon Ekpa hijacking, hijacking, where did you know? Do you know where it comes from? It comes from Barista Ejo 4. Barista Ejo 4 is behind every betraying of the DOS from A to Z. Of course, they all work together. And let me tell you, Barista Ejo 4 assuring the politicians from the Southeast that he is in charge. That whatever he says goes. They put all the trust on him. So what he does is he become an advisor of Mazin Namdekano, advising the public without the consent and the details of what he's advising about to Mazin Namdekano. Your four become a spokesman of the Nigeria government. I want all of you to pay attention to what I'm doing tonight. I want all of you to pay attention to what I'm doing tonight. Because after today, you will know the worst enemy within. Barista Ejo 4 went into agreement with many politicians that some of you do not know, all in the name of becoming something, all in the name of, you know, fame. So in case you do not know how this whole attack on Simon Epa started, Barista Ejo 4 is behind it. But did you see me attack him? No. Did you see me come to condemn him? No. Did you see me come to say, Barista Ejo 4, you stopped me from piloting the affair of Biafra. Did he stop me? He did not stop me. We are still on autopilot and Biafra struggle is worse than struggle than before. I have never attacked him. That is to show you that my only interest is to see that the legacy of Mazin Namdekano, which Barista Ejo 4 has vowed to destroy, will never be achieved. He will never achieve that destruction. I have never attacked him. The only thing I did was to come to call his attention whenever he is going off track. Because he you know, sometimes when he, when he feel that the DOS has failed, he want to take it upon himself to do the fight. I tell him to mind his business. Mind his business and focus on the lawyer work he was doing. He never listened. He never listened. So there is one revolution I want to make very important. And I want everybody to get it 
to their mind today. That one, Onyendu gave a message to Simon Ekpa to pilot the affair of Biafra struggle. But Mr. Jofo called him that he's meant, he has a mental problem because of what they did to him in Kenya. And for that reason, Barista Jofo vowed that over his dead body will Simon Ekpa do that. Simon Ekpa is doing it, and he's still alive. Of course, he may not be under the, or, you know, on Radio Biafra, but I'm doing it. I'm doing it very well. Two, Barista Ejofo walked his ass off to make sure that election took place in Anambra. And I want to repeat the same thing for election to hold in Biafra land. I want to tell you also how many of them shared the money and how the money was collected. And you know, everything I'm doing today, like I said, if I am lying, let everything by stage of four is going to do work against me. Now, in all this, I communicate with Barista Ejofo every day. I communicate with Barista Ejofo. When people were attacking him, I still protected him because it has not come to the point when I am very, very sure that, you know, he is not going to harm Mazen and Bikano. And that's what I'm doing, what I'm doing today. Barrister Ejofo's house was invaded. People were killed. The question people have not asked Barrister Ejofo is, why is it that only one person was killed in your house? Why is it that only one person was killed in Barrister Ejofo's house? Why? Nobody has asked that question. But I said, Jofo has not come to give explanation why the so-called PA. PA that we don't know the salary. What is a Jofo paying to his PA? Can a Jofo, we challenge a Jofo this night to bring a pay slip because you pay PA. But I said, Jofo should come and bring pay slip where he is paying that PA. And what is the name of the PA? Only one person was killed. And let me tell you, the killing of that guy in Barrister Jofo's house was part of the betrayal of Mazen Amdikan. We were all here. I was on the program. I was on live video shouting. Shouting, calling all ESN to go to Barrister Jofo house. After they captured that guy and killed him, they left Ejofo's house. Everything was on CCTV camera. Today, Barrister Ejofo has been compensated. I have not heard him addressing how much he gave to the family of the so-called PA. Or doesn't the PA have family? Doesn't the PA of Barista Ejofo have family? He should have family. Why I'm not going to have mercy on him today is because he has betrayed Mazen Namdekano with impunity. For the fact that Ejofo vowed that instead of Simon Ekpa to do the job Mazen Namdekano gave him over his dead body is the highest betrayer of Mazen Namdekano. And he said it. So I'm not going to have mercy on him today. Although, there are a lot of things I'm not going to review. Yet. And remember that it was after the killing of Ikonso that Barista Jofo's house was invaded. Following that, Sunday Iboho, following that, Mazenam Bikano kidnapping. I hope people are aware of that. So, I wonder the kind of roof that Barista Ejofo has in his place 
that DSS could not jump over the roof to capture Barista Ejofo. But when they invaded Okorocha's house, EFCC, EFCC was able to jump inside the roof of Okorocha to go and they arrest Okorocha. But they could not apply that particular tactics on Ejofo if they're actually looking for Ejofo. But I'm telling you today that it is not ordinary. Mazinam Dikano was betrayed by the people you can never ever imagine. Even after they have adopted him and kidnapped him, the betrayer got worse. And I am ashamed to have ever associated my, myself with such people. Very shameful. The question I am asking you to ask Barista Jofo today is something that you must underline. Can we know the identity of Barista Ejofo's PA, his family, and how much is Barista Ejofo paying him? When was he employed? That that PA was the target of the DSS. It was all planned. The day Barista Ejofo's house was attacked, somebody else was in his house with him. That person is parading himself today. Yet, Ejofo went to DSS and also <laughs> implicated him. Of course, that one is their, is their problem. And that person is still opening his mouth today to, to talk rubbish about Biafra. You know, I want a Jofo to know that I have his file. And like I said, you can never ever stop Biafra from coming. Never. Your sabotaging of this struggle will end today. A Geofo to show you how lackadaisical he handles Mazinam the Kanu case. Tomorrow he comes to tell you that, oh, they just received a communication from court that uh, Mazinam the Kanu case will be heard tomorrow. Oh, they just received communication today. It will be heard in two hours. Oh, they just received to the extent that the last court, A Geofo and his group, was going to another court. Why the hearing of court of Onyendo was in another court? What kind of disgrace is that? Is this is to show you a Jofo don't want Mazin Nambi Kanu to come out. And only if a Jofo is going to be kicked out of this legal team. There are a lot of them doing very wonderful work. And they must not be loyal to a Jofo. Because if they are loyal to a Jofo, the problem of a Jofo. And what cabals Ejofo has created, destroying the Biafra struggle and Mazin and Bikano will continue. I know how he influenced me. Also, he come to me and he tell me, Kano Takano is this. The family is that. Aloye Jimako is this. Aloye Jimako is that. Today, I have sat down. And I have, of course, I'm not somebody that you can push to fight anybody. I do my underground and my background check. I investigated everybody. Everybody that is part of this struggle. I investigate you. And I know how I do my investigation. So you may be doing your impunity. I'll be looking at you. None of them today are clean. So if anybody is mentioning any name here, that the person is shouting about, about, about the Jofo, my brother, my sister, it is all the same. They are the same. The only difference is that when one of them want to overshadow the other, you see them having problems. They are the same. Barista Ejofo is the biggest enemy of Mazinam Dikano in Biafra struggle. So I am wondering, how can such person, you know, parade himself 
as the legal as the lead counsel of Mazin Namdekano, and at the same time sabotaging him. Every effort many people has made to bring more lawyers to Mazin Namdekano, Ejo Four refused. Ejo Four fought all of them, including Mike Ezokome. I am there. It is not a, I, I was there. Age of four fought against Mike. Is it coming? Mike, this Mike, is it coming? You see. It took a job for weeks and months to take Mike, is it coming? To Mazenam Dikano. Everybody that has come to help Mazenam Dikano. A job for standing in the ban. Because he has only God, because of course we don't know everything, but the one we know is enough. It took a lot of in house fight for a Jofo to allow Mike Ezekome to appear at the end of the day. Now, I want to remind you people one thing Mike Ezekome should be the lead counsel or even a lawyer, Jimako. But the stage of four refused. Every day, as I'm talking to you today, he is still giving out information as the lead counsel. Is that is that the information that he gave to you when he announced that he have taken another Iroko three of legal uh, luminary to Onyendu? He said they have gotten a new lead counsel today. But the stage of four is addressing himself as the lead counsel. Have you all asked yourself a question? Why is Barista Ejofo parading himself as a lead counsel? He is not a lead counsel. By virtue of professionalism and experience, Mike Ezekome should be the one parading himself as a lead counsel. But Barista Ejofo have not given that right to him. And let me tell you today, after this broadcast today, it will never remain the same. Barista Ejo Four fought every and what he does is that he stay behind and ignite the fire. Some of these idiots, some of these criminals, illiterate, and I create your faka. Do you know how many times I addressed Ejo Four? I saw a video where. I was making State of the Nation broadcast addressing Ejofo. I addressed him anytime in a coded way. But you know now, he see that we have defeated the people he unleashed on me. He unleashed the DOS on me. The DOS unleashed their illiterate media warriors on me. And we have defeated all of them. So it is time for him to come out openly to do the job which they failed to deliver. That's why you see him coming out. I have made a very strong statement today. I said, Onyendu told Barista Jofo that I should pilot the affair. Barista Jofo say over his dead body. Barista Jofo say that Mazen and Bikano have mental problem because of what they did to him in Kenya. And Barista Jofo summoned the DOS to fight me. That he cannot be alive and see that happen. Because of the interest he has sold in his hand in Nigeria, with the Nigeria politicians. What I am telling you people, you don't understand, but you will understand it. When you go back to the event, when I was telling Barista Jofo, stop telling us that Mazin Namdekano is in high spirit. He was working, the, doing the work of Lai Mohammed. Lai Mohammed's job is as a spokesperson you know, a minister of information is to brush the, the government up, brush the system up. That is what a job for is doing. So who is paying a job for for that? Who is paying a job for to come and tell you that Mazin Namdekano is in high spirit? Even if Mazin Namdekano is in high spirit, propaganda is the part of a lawyer job. Propaganda. Good one. Your client can never be in high spirit in DSS dungeon. Why can't a job for use that propaganda? Let us even assume that Mazin Namdekano is fine. Every now and then, he come to tell you Mazin Namdekano is sick, the doctor, and then the next minute, he's in high spirit. When the Fulani will call him. Why did you write that? 
The same way they contacted these DOS criminals, expert criminals, that they must rewrite Anambra during the Anambra election to sit at home. Is the same way they contacted Joe for each time they Joe for write anything against the Nigeria DSS. So the question is, why is a Joe for writing good about the DSS? Why is a Joe for writing good about the Nigeria system? Why is a Joe for writing against Mazen Namdekan each time? Even when Mazen Namdekan was dying. And some of the criminals, you are going to see them. And when they tell you, oh, they have caught information. And what these people don't know is that I was the one who distanced myself from Barista Jofo. Barista Jofo did not stop communicating with me. I stopped communicating with him. I was the one who distanced myself. But when you hear them say they have caught communication, I laugh. And I'm going to tell you today. How I distanced myself from Barista Ejofo. During the Anambra election, Barista Ejofo contacted me severally that only in do say I should mellow down my voice on no election. He said it the first time. That was when he was already, already, already discussing with the, with the Soludos and Co. That only do say I Mellow down. I asked him, how can Onion do say I should mellow down? Onion do cannot be in DSS dungeon to know what is happening outside, to tell me I should mellow down. He said it the second time. He said it the third time. I have I start to avoid him. So if anybody is telling you about stage of four court communication, I stopped communicating with him because I was no longer comfortable. And today, before Anambra election, they all collected money. They collected money from Sonudo's in-law, and I know how much they collected. They collected money from some certain individual, and I know how much they collected, and I know how the money was shared among them. But that will be left for Mazen Abdikan when he comes out. And the, every person who have one thing or the other, they eliminate. They eliminate. They kill. They kill without looking back. And those records are with me. Very, very intact. Now, I want you people to see Mazen Namdekano. The Mazen Namdekano we all know. I want everybody to listen and watch Mazen Namdekano that you know. No deadline with this was it? What do you get? I don't. We were moving speedily towards it. What did you get here? I don't care. In the past, you have asked your friends not to think for six months while you were passing. Yes. Why is it? You seem to have come down in this and that. Yeah. Because they have changed as well. The people are saying that. I need to bring it again screen one moment. I want all of you to listen to Mazin Namdikano. You know the some of the illiterate, they already left uh, left their own platform. They are here. They are here commenting. I can see some of them commenting. <laughs> they are here commenting. And that's why we are different. They come here to hear as we say it the way it is. I want you guys to listen to Mazin Namdikano.
Okay, a lot of people say no sound, so we are going to refresh. Right, a lot of people say we have issue with the uh, with the sound, so we are, you know, uh, refreshing it. I think that's some kind of network issue. Did you hear that? No political solution. Right, we have issue with the sound. We have issue with the sound, right? All right, okay, one moment. Uh, secretary, please, this your writing is distracting me a little bit. All right. I believe we are back now. Let us see how the sound goes. Let's start from the beginning. They were moving speedily towards it. In the past, you have asked their friends not to think about it. Yes. Why? You seem to have toned down the people. Yeah. Because they have changed as well. The people are saying that everything is not working for Nigeria. How do you think that the new government is going to be? Con-duration. 
every ethnicity will have the rights to control their resources and to govern themselves. There will be no interference from Enugu whatsoever. How do you, the U.S. ambassador's prediction that Biafra is a closed project, or Biafra project is closed? They said the same thing about the state of Israel in 1948, when it came into existence. It will come. There's nothing man can do to stop it. So in this paragraph, it gets actualized eventually. Would you consent for political provision? No. Why not? My job is to restore Biafra, not to serve it in any political capacity. How do you react to on an easy indie boat with only you as well as that of Abra? I'm not sure they don't know me. We disagree, but the middle hybrid our vehicles, they want to identify the differences that we have. It's just mere emphasis, divergent views and, and basically that's what I used to. Where we are so people entitled to their views. I may not welcome it, but I defend the right to hold it all the time. Hi folks and yourself we are said to the Arawa nation to It wasn't directed at us. So I couldn't possibly react to it because it's not good at all. But I, I think it goes to show that they're in tune with prevailing trend, which is referendum. At least we welcome the fact that some of them are Democrats. Don't stand uh, have a you, you are the leader of Biafra. Mm. People in the North North part. They are part of Biafra. They've been your your landlord said you should go. Then what do you expect to do? Exactly. Your landlord said you should go. Then you try and go. If you said they will kill you. They've been doing it since 1945. They kill all the time, so it's nothing new to us. It was reported that you had said uh, no elections in Anandor State. Do you think that can be possible without bloodshed and control? How can you blood when you're in your house sitting down and enjoying the on the 18th of November, mm -hmm. 2017? How is that bloodshed? Yes. Yes. There will be no movement. No cats, no dogs outside, no chicken, nothing. Okay. So Complete silence. Everyone. What did you do? Say that you are hypocrite. Why? Um, you have a British passport, mm -hmm. and yet you have asked your friends to destroy their democratic beliefs. What are your reactions to this? I never give such a directive. You're asking me a direct question, I know, and I speak truthfully and directly. I did not give such an order. If people want to destroy whatever document of papers they have on them, that's entirely up to them. Okay. And I'm not a hypocrite either. Because I was, my land was forcibly taken over by external forces. And I'm being forced to live under it. It's my job to fight to get myself out of it. Now I'm the I am the I had British traveling documents before they still fought for independence and got it. Same thing applied to George Washington in America. He was a British colony settler, traveled about as a British citizen before he got USA out of the mess that was colonial rule from England. Something in India is nothing new. I've been now uh, in the public limelight for close to four years, so people know what I can do and what I cannot do. If people wish to delude themselves with false propaganda and information about me, they're more than entitled to it. I cannot stop them from doing so. But what I say to them is that those people who are feeding you this junk information about me, they do not wish you well. People like us, IPOB, are the only ones that can save you from your chronic poverty, from your diseased state of mind, from your horrible bad roads, from your non-existent hospitals, from your absence of infrastructure. And we're the only ones who can make it possible for you to get a job. That's how it is. All those people telling you all those nonsense about Namdekan is because they know that Namdekan is capable of articulating a policy or a viewpoint that can get you out of the mess that you're in. So they want you to remain poor, to remain blind, for your parents to be dying. It benefits them. So, uh, basically and I want you to understand that the people that Mazen Namdekan was referring to here are the people that are the age of four is representing. And your four attitude and actions represent the people that Mazina Bikano was talking about here. I want you people to understand one thing. Some of you, 
did not even ask question. When Mazenam Dekano was kidnapped from Kenya, Ajo 4 went into agreement with Asari Kubo that nobody should attack each other. Me, I was not part of that agreement, but I respected them. For whatever reason, they went into such agreement. But these are the people who vowed to capture Mazenam Dekano. Saridu Kubo was boasting on social media. He vowed to kill Mazenam Dekano. That he's going to kill Mazenam Dekano. Ejofo went and have meeting and have whatever meeting with them. Who knows? Who knows the content? Who knows the discussion? Who knows what they discussed? Yet, Ejofo could not tell the Iraq to stop attacking Asaridu Kubo. He was watching them attacking and calling him pig and everything. Yet, he was the one who went into agreement. I want you people to understand what, what is going on. If people don't know, the same way Ejiofor come to me, and I was good with him. I talked to him every day. The same Ejiofor that I discussed with every day went to DOS and tell them, over his own dead body, will he allow Simon Ekpa to lead Biafra struggle? Because of the people and the, everything he has planned how to use Biafra to do whatever he wants to do. And he was still good with me. When the time they are shouting on social media, they have caught communication. Ejo first still send me messages. Now, I want to ask you, some of the Iraqs that are watching now, that are, not, that are unable to comment. Have Ejo Four instructed you people to stop attacking the people he went into agreement with and you refused? And if you refused, what did he do? Ejo Four instructed all this Iraq. They were after everything you see happening on social media today is coming from Ejofor. Ejofor will give instruction to the, to, the, to the criminals in DOS and they will carry it out. Ejofor will give them instruction to disobey Mazenam the kind of order. They will disobey it. And so they went into agreement with Asaridu Kubo. And the same Ejofor was on social media, a social media lawyer watching how they were insulting Asaridu Kubo until Asaridu Kubo came out and started shouting. We went into agreement to not, no, nobody should attack each other. And they, they were attacking me. A Jofo who went into agreement could not call the criminals and their irat to order. Were you there where the agreement was made? No. Till today, a Jofo did not call them to order. Yet, he went into agreement with them. And this is a man who was defending Mazenam Dikan. And this is a man who went into agreement in trying to save Mazenam Dikan if that is what the agreement was all about. Yet they attacked and bashed Asari Dukubo on social media. The same attack propelled and began to, Asari Dukubo went into agreement to start killing our people and they come on social media and on Radio Biafra to shout. Asari is recruiting people to come to Biafra land to kill our ESN. The same ESN the Ejofo vowed to destroy. So if there were actually an agreement between Asari Dukubo and Ejofo, do you know what the agreement is? Do you know whether that agreement has to do with the Asari recruiting people to come to our land as a Bubago? in quest to destroy the ESN, which is the heartbeat of Biafra restoration. Are you now understanding what is happening? Ask yourself and ask the Jofo, the agreement you went with, Sasari Dukubo, what was it all about? What was it all about? Is it about coming to fight the ESN that you claim have disobeyed you? Is it about to come to fight ESN that refuse to lay down their arms? Is it about to fight the ESN who have seen that all of you are criminals and they decided they will not take order from you again? You went and do agreement with Asari. Come and tell Biafrans what is the agreement. Because Asari has come publicly to say, we had a meeting with you. And you all agreed not to attack each other. So let us know more about this particular agreement. The job given to a job for 
is to make sure that Mazen Namdekano and Biafra restoration is dead. And he failed. He failed by the emergence of autopilot, IPOB. That was the greatest nightmare of Barista Jofo because he could not control us. He couldn't stop the sit at home for Biafra people. He could not, uh, he could not co succeed in making the Eastern Security Network to lay the other arms. It was part of the agreement they have to destroy IPOB, destroy Biafra. He failed. That's why he don't want to use his eye to see me. And today, I said, Ejiofo, if for whatever reason that you decide to disobey Mazen and the canon order and twist it, turn it around, for whatever reason, against Biafra, you will never end well. You will never end well. Now, I want you all to understand that Mazin Namdukano here is the same Mazin Namdukano Ejiofo is talking about. Ejiofo will come every day to write Mazin Namdukano, he say, let there be peace, all the people kidnapping. Is Mazin Namdukano sending anybody to kidnap in the Southeast? Is Mazin Namdukano sending anybody to commit crime in the Southeast? Is Mazin Namdukano the originator of, of crime and criminality in the Southeast? That is what a Jofo message a Jofo is carrying for the past one year. Onion do say all the people are stealing. Onion do say all the, as if the people stealing are working for Onion. Do. And I have told a Jofo several times, why should you be making such statements every day? You have never condemned the Fulani attack like today in Enugu State. They kidnap people. Age of four, you have not told Onyendu that Fulani are kidnapping every day. What can we do? You have not told us Onyendu's reaction about the killing of the Fulani. Age of four is now telling you that all the crime in the Biafra land is being committed by Ndibu. The same thing the Fulani governors are doing. That is the work of Age of four. Age of four has become an information minister and a communication minister and the spokesperson of the Biafra governors. Painting Ndibu with all manner of names. He jumped bell, they do this one, they do that one. I want to ask you people today, why is a Geofo writing every day that Mazin Namdekano is telling criminals to stop their crime? Mazin Namdekano is telling this one to stop. Is Mazin Namdekano sending them? When Mazin Namdekano was around, were there no criminals in the Southeast? Were there no kidnappers in the Southeast? And the kidnapping not happening all over Nigeria. Why is a Geofo singling Ndibu? Every, every press release from Onyendu, a Geofo is connecting it to criminals. A Geofo left defending Mazin Namdekano to become image maker. Image maker. Ask a Geofo, where is court today? Let me show you people. Ask a Geofo, where is Mazin Namdekano court? Where, which court is the court holding? A Geofo did not know. A Geofo did not know which of the court they are going. A Geofo left and the, all the people coming, they could not know where the court is sitting, where the hearing of Mazen and the Kano case is taking place. Listen to it. Good morning, good afternoon, on good people. evening, and good night, wherever you Every are. Every time, your time you zone, your phone, your your phone phone have day. earphone in, in the ear, even in the court. I begin to ask myself, what kind of man is this? Even if you are a sabo betraying Mazen and the Kano, can you just behave yourself in the courtroom a Jofo has earphone. I do not know what a Jofo is listening to in the earphone, in the inside the courtroom. Every court a Jofo went to, a Jofo have had, a Jofo have, only, he is the only one having earphone. A Jofo is having earphone in the courtroom. A Jofo is having earphone in interview. A Jofo is having earphone in the, court, in the kitchen and in the toilet. Only God know what a Jofo is listening to in the earphone. 
I want you people to listen to Jofo, who is very, very active on social media, who is very, very active in dishing out information about the criminals in the Southeast. And I ask myself, and Mazin Namdikano is Mazin Namdikano the owner of criminals in the Southeast? And I asked myself, Ejiofo knows all the criminals in the Southeast, yet he didn't know the court where Mazin Namdikano case is being tried. I want you people to listen. P court currently with our uh, formidable and ever ready lawyer, barrister, sir, if I knew Ejiofo, on who, um, we want to get an update from him on what is rightly going on at the moment at the Court of Appeal concerning the stuff execution has been fired by the federal government of Nigeria. Please, Barrister, good, good, morning. good morning. Please, can you update us on what is happening? Good morning, Muchineke. First of all, let me apologize for those that went to Supreme Court. You see, let me apologize for those that went to Supreme Court. He allowed people to go to Supreme Court. That is how serious that you afford to take Mazin Namdekanu case. He couldn't even tell people where the case is holding. He couldn't even tell which of the court. He couldn't. This is what a Jofo is doing. Social media lawyer. But do you know what? When he wants to write about criminals in the Southeast, when he wants to write against Biafra, he writes it in details. Tell you Onyendu is saying. But ordinary court, which is happening one day, one day at a time, where a Jofo is preparing to go to court, a Jofo did not know in Abuja, which of the court is handling Mazin Namdekanu case? Is it not, you know, is it not a shame? I want you people to listen. He is now apologizing. They went from one court to another. It was not there. They start from there and drive from that court to another. It was not there. And now he is here apologizing for people that went to Supreme Court. And it is, you know, a lawyer. It is just, let us apologize for people who went to Supreme Court because he did not know where. I want you people to, to listen. Instead of coming to the Court Appeal, the, we indicated that the matter will be coming up before the Court of Appeal, not Supreme Court, but some went to Supreme Court, so we are sorry about that. Uh, the matter, the hostility has resumed already. Um, the federal government filed application for sale of the cushion. That was on Wednesday. And served on our league council chief, Dr. Michael Zephyr, on Wednesday. Did you hear that? A Jofo pronounced Mike Ezekome lead council. Here. A Jofo pronounced Mike Ezekome lead council. Yet, a Jofo will give statement and sign his name, including the one of yesterday. A Jofo will sign his name lead council. I do not know whether a Jofo understand how many lead council. You know, I don't know whether Mazen they cannot have two lead council in a legal team. A Jofo called Ezekome here, lead council. Ezekome cannot come that low to start reporting for Nigeria. A Jofo is reporting for Nigeria every blessed day. He will put his name. If you doubt me, we are going, I'm going to show you his tweet now. You are going to see every time a Jofo Barista Ejofo, lead council. And I wonder why he is doing that. The people that have the people that have distinguished themselves and we have seen things happening. Ejofo made me to believe that Aloy Ejimako is a very bad person who don't know his left from the right. Today, Aloy Ejimako walk, speak for him. Aloy Ejimako is not uh, running on. So I'm not here to brush him or anything. No, I have my own standard how I assess people. Aloy Ejimako walk is speaking. We have seen Unuma here. We have seen many, at least two times now. Ejimafo could not even use the work of Aloy Ejimako as an evidence. Nobody knows what Ejimafo is doing until Ezekiel may enter this case. And what Ejimafo is doing now is to focus on destroying Biafra.
to focus on destroying the legacy of Mazin Namdekano. And I want to tell Ejo for today and anybody who may be following him, your job ends in the court. If you want to be part of Biafra struggle, you come out openly. Any day you write again that Mazin Namdekano say Biafra this, say Biafra that, we will come for you. As we are doing it now on social media, we will come and address you on social media. It is going to be head on from today. Any day you write them again, Biafra say Biafra, ESN say, or Biafra this one day, we are going to come immediately and address you. We we'll do it like that. Of course, I know that a few days from now, your efficiency on social media will end. And I want you to understand that the money or whatever they promise you, the Nigeria government promise you from tonight, it will be valueless and worthless because you will never, believe, you will never deliver. And before those who will come to say that I could Simon Ekpa, I have said it. If you come to do anything to Simon Ekpa, it will work if what I am doing is against Biafra. It will work. If what I am doing is fake, it will work. If what I am doing is to sabotage Mazin Amdekano, everything you do to me will work. If what I'm doing now is to sabotage Biafra or to sabotage Mazin Namdekano, everything, every place you go, it will work against me. But if not, as you are finishing it, it is coming back to your family. It is time to put Barrister Jofo where he belongs. We do not need lawyer who will be coming to tell us about Southeast. A Jofo is not defending Southeast. Mazinam Dekano is not sending anybody to go and do anything. So why are you always bothered about that? Why are you always worried about that? Why are you so worried about people fighting for Mazinam Dekano? Mazinam Dekano did not send them. Mazinam Dekano did not send me. So I am fighting for Biafra and fighting for his release on my own. And many Biafra, millions of Biafra joined me to do that. So why are you worried about whatever Biafras are doing? I have said it. Mazen Amdekanu did not send anybody to go and commit crime. So why would you be attaching criminals and criminality to Mazen Amdekanu every day? Telling you Mazen Amdekanu, he say everybody should come down. This one, the other one they call, you know, the other one they call Madubugo, whatever they call him. I have not come for him. I have not, I have not even remember him yet. But I hope he is using his tongue to count his teeth. You know, everybody has been talking about him. I've never for one day mentioned him. But he go about spoiling my name because Barista Ejofo deceived him. Of course, he's bad too. And we, we have his record. The same man, Barista Ejofo, reported at the DSS Abuja. Because all of you are criminals. You rob each other's back. You will all pay when the time comes. Not yet. But Simon Ekpa will be your last bus stop before Biafra come. I am telling you the fact. This is not a joke. I will be your last bus stop. All of you combined together. I will be your last bus stop. And we have come to uproot the root of DOS, which is Barista Jofo. Barista Jofo paraded himself as a lawyer of Onyendu. Meanwhile, he controlled the entire DOS because, you know, he has agreement with whoever in the Southeast. Every time Barista Jofo will tell, we tell you, everybody should calm down, everybody should calm down, while Mazin Namdekano is dying. Now, I want you people to understand one thing. They say the court acquitted Mazin Namdekano, released, uh, you know, discharge him. And Barista Jofo is here. Now, Suni Minimi every day. Oh, yes, we are going to Umuchineke. We are going to win. We are going to. Can you tell us 
how your winning have released Mazen Namdi Kano, even when there is a court judgment to release him. I don't know which court is going to, they are going to respect. I don't know which court, the Fulani, who you know their intention and plan, are going to respect. You have had one judgment. They did not respect it. And now you are telling us maybe the next one they are going to respect. Oh, let us go. We have appealed. Oh, let us go. We have appealed. Uh, the Supreme Court is sitting on it. They are going to do justice. I don't know. Is the judge, the name of the judge who is going to give the judgment, it doesn't matter. Is it when Musa give the judgment that they are going to now ask Mazen and Bikano to go? I want you people to understand there is no hope in anything that your four is doing. And until Biafrans understand that the four must be kicked out of the legal team, the earlier this is done, the better for Mazen Amdikan. We don't need anybody like a Jofo. We do not need anybody that is loyal to a Jofo in the legal team. Because if you allow anybody as loyal to a Jofo to remain there, it is the same problem. The person will be sabotaging every effort that is being done. I want you people to listen to me. What is it that the Jofo want to do? While Mike Ezekome is telling Nigeria government that if you want peace in Nigeria, if you want peace in the Southeast, release Mazen Amdikano. Do you know what Ejofo is saying? Ejofo is saying you must stop killing each other as if Biafrans are killing each other. Ejofo is saying you must stop criminality as if Biafrans are the one committing crime. Or as if Mazen Amdikano is the one sending people to commit crime. Ejofo is saying everybody must calm down. I do not know how everybody is going to calm down. Why Mike Ezekome is using that people are making noise in the Southeast to demand for the release of Mazin and the Kano. The people that are making noise in the Southeast, Mazin and the Kano did not send them. These are people who are fighting for their freedom. I don't know whether you people are, you know, whether I'm communicating. Do you want me to play? Let me finish this one so that I will play to you what Ezekiel may have said and how Ejofo is saying his own. I want you people to understand today that Ejofo is the biggest mole. I don't know how many times I'm going to say it. First of all, the same fate that befall the criminals in DOS will befall Barista Ejofo from today. Barista Ejofo said he state he will obey Mazenam the kind of order on me that over his dead body. But as the Jofo summoned the DOS and told them that Mazen Namdikanu gave order that Simon Epa should take a, should parlor the affair of Biafra. But over his dead body, will he do that? That he don't, he think that Onion Du's brain is not okay. That he, he, that what they did to him in Kenya is affecting him. All this problem you see today, this is where it started. Can you now see? That the fate of DOS must befall Barista Ejofo. They are all crime partners. They succeeded in making an Anambra election to happen today. What is Soludo doing? What is the result of the Anambra election? Soludo this, Soludo that. Is he not killing people? Are the military not killing Anambra? Are Fulani not kidnapping? Has Soludo ever come to address it? No. But they were the one who collected money from Soludo and his in-laws. So that election in Anambra we hold. But let it be on record that I, Simon Ekpa, never supported the election in Biafra land. Of course, Anambra own was different. Now, during that Anambra election, a lot was still happening and today I can assure you that Biafra will never allow Nigeria to conduct election in Biafra territory come 2023 because the game have changed. If the Anambra election is today, it will never happen. I want you to be able to listen to Ejiofo. Okay, good morning. 
good afternoon, good evening, and good night wherever you are, depending on your time zone. We are live at our P-Court currently with our uh, formidable and ever ready lawyer, Barrister Sir Ifani Ejiofo Onowu. Um, we want to get an update from him on what is rightly going on at the moment at the Court of Appeal concerning the stuff execution has been fired by the federal government of Nigeria. Please, Barrister, good, good morning. Good morning Please, can you update us on what is happening? Good morning, Muchineke. First of all, let me apologize for those that went to Supreme Court instead of coming to Court of Appeal. They, we indicated that the matter will be coming up before the Court of Appeal, not Supreme Court. But some went to Supreme Court, so we are sorry about that. Uh, the matter, the hostility has resumed already. Um, the federal government filed application for sale of the cushion. That was on Wednesday. And served on our League Council Chief, Dr. Michael Zephyr, on Wednesday at 5.03 p.m. in the evening. And we promptly prepared a response, counter available to that application, and filed it on Friday before the close of work on Friday and served on them. And within the uh, come up your practice direction, fast track rules. We are within time to find it. I will find out within time, and they can only be entitled to response on law of law for that video, which they saw this morning. However, the, when the matter was called up, appearances was announced. Uh, um, the federal government lawyer applied for a job. Can you, can you imagine? Was, can you imagine the story this man is talking every day because they talk that their friends are illiterate. They thought that, you know, everybody in this IPOB or in this Biafra is, is, is illiterate. Look at what a man is talking. Uh, federal government filed uh, the call for the motion and the federal government lawyer filed the motion. What the nonsense. A whole Mazen Namdikanu case. Well, somebody should be talking logically. Is he here telling you? This is an update too. Oh, we went to the court. The lawyer, the government lawyer entered the room and uh, we entered uh, the room too. And then the government lawyer was looking at us and uh, we were looking at them. And then the judge called our name and we responded. And he called the government lawyer's name and he responded. And then he filed a motion and we read the motion and then we listen. Can you imagine the stories? This has been happening for one year. Do you know why I'm, why I'm, I have, it is now the right time to, Put him where he belong is because I waited until the right time when I will have every evidence in my hand. And because Nigeria court has acquitted and discharged Onyendu, yet they have not released him. It was a Jofo, it was a big shock. And I will not be surprised that a Jofo was part and the parcel of the people behind the new seven count charges. Because the business have to continue to happen. Mazinam the Kanu release will end, you know, he is not busy again. So, you know, he has to be running around. So I am not surprised that the Joe Fong will tell the Southeast governors, don't worry. I am in charge of IPOB. Whatever I tell them is what they will do. Don't worry. This uh, P2B will win. P2B will contest. Uh, election will take place. Don't worry. I know the boys. I know everybody. That is what Ejofo is telling them. And Ejofo will tell them, if you release Mazinam the Kano, you think that you think that all these things that you hear that the Southeast governors wrote to Abuja, you think Ejofo is not aware of it? I am telling you, you don't know the meeting he goes. Ejofo is aware of all these things. They consult him. He will now go to Mazinam the Kano and pretend that he is helping him. And I want to tell you one thing. Enemy can never fight you without an in-house sabo. Those who give them your secret. They can never fight you. So what you see now, that Nigeria is not respecting Mazenam the Kano's right, is because Ejo 4 have assured them that IPOB is in my palm. I have destroyed them. They cannot do anything. But we are going to surprise them. It will surprise them. A whole Mazinam the Kano. This is how the lawyer is narrating the story. Every blessed court date, they narrate the story like this. Listen to him. Stoutly opposed by our lead council chief, Michael Dokumese, 
a system that is application application of stuff. That is gone. The gear must go on today. This morning. See the, the, the possibility of disposing the case today. So when it comes being uh, one of the facts that that the, the application itself has a lot of um, uh, need to be had especially and uh, and ruled upon I joined the matter to 12 pm this afternoon for to enable them to respond on long so since they want to want to respond to our application because five additional authorities which will serve on them uh, this morning too so that is uh, what happened thank you very so much so we are going back to court by 12 pm thank you thank you very much barista uh, we are Omochuku writers are right at the premises of the appeal court Api Federal High Court uh, Abuja will be giving you a bit. You hear them now? Um, writers. These are the people that in your four we carry. All these things you see, Umuchuku writers and this writer. Is you know, these are the people. He will tell them, go and attack Simon Epa. Go and blackmail Simon Epa. If he take over this struggle, hey, we are gone. If and the, the point is that this idiot who call themselves Umuchuku writer. Don't even know what. Of course, some of them are very, uh, you know, are, are they are they are criminal gangs. So, they, but some of them don't even know, ignorant of what a Jofo is doing. This is the Umuchuku writer. Those who write nonsense on social media about Simon Epa, interviewing him. So he's the one giving them information. Go and write now, write now. He share. Yesterday before this broadcast, they were sharing other one. They say if you attack uh, Mazen Abdekano legal team. You are attacking Mazen Amdikan. Mm. The same people have been attacking Aloy Ejimako. The same people. For the past one year, they have blackmailed Aloy Ejimako. The same people attack Bruce Fenn. I do not know whether those people are not representing Mazen Amdikan. They have attacked Bruce Fenn. They have attacked Aloy Ejimako. And in all this attack, only one person is engineering it. The person is Ejiofo. I know what a Jofo told me. You know, it is not yet. I'm going to be bringing evidence. I know what he told me about Ejimako. So if I am an illiterate like them, by now I would have done so many programs on Ejimako, Ejimako based on information this idiot gave me. But you know, I'm a very sensible man. I don't attack anybody based on information. I will see things and put them together myself before I will come out. So if I am, if, if, you know, like them, I would have started attacking a lawyer, Jimako. When Oyendu was, uh, was, uh, was uh, kidnapped, Ejofo don't know what is extraordinary rendition. Ejofo did not know that when a state commits crime, automatically they cannot sit and have the moral justification to try the person in a different crime. I don't know this law. Ejofo told me, that why should a lawyer Jimako come? That he should come and tell him where it is in Nigeria law. Hey! I laugh. I hope he is listening to me. Today, it is the same Nigeria court who a Jofo say that he does a lawyer Jimako should come and show him where it is in Nigeria law. Have exonerated Mazin Namdikano of any crime. The same law have also faulted Nigeria government or uh, 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 crime, criminal uh, uh, activities against Mazin Amdikano yeah. by kidnapping him from Kenya. Because AGO4 have ulterior motive back then that many don't know. You see, when I start to keep things, I keep it for a very long time. Patient. Patient. Matters a lot. I am not somebody that, you know, come out, giddy, 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 fight. No, 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 no. I have patience too. I target, I target you if I know that you have skeleton. I have patience. I can wait until you dance, you jump up, you do. The exact target that I want to fire. And that's what I'm doing this evening, from this evening. Of course, I am not going to go into who they deceived, but I want you to understand that the order of Mazen Amdikano is for me to take over and pilot the affair of Biafra struggle. And I have never made it public till today. 
but it is a Jehovah whom I was dining with, which I know, it's not like I don't know, was the one who said, over his dead body. So I want to ask you, how many of you will know such thing and you have not come publicly to attack the person? The reason why I'm doing this thing today is because it is now a threat to Mazen and the kind of freedom. If it was about my own, yeah, you know, I'm not moved. But because it has become a clear threat to the freedom of Mazenab the Kano and to Biafra. That is why it has become imperative for us to have this program today. But if it is about me, no, he can't. I know how to maneuver myself. So with all the things he did, I was still communicating with a Jofo. Even when all this idiot was shouting on social media, he has been cut off. Nobody is this, nobody is that. I still communicate with a Jofo. They don't know. Until the time when I told the Jofo, the last message I sent the Jofo, before Mazen Amdikano was released, was pronounced, acquitted, and discharged. The message I sent him was the one that struck his, his heart. I told him that Mazen Amdikano will soon be released and there is need for us to talk about his safety. And the Jofo knows the content of the message I sent him. It was after then, a Jofo blocked, you know, probably closed the number he was using. Closed the number. The number is no longer, you know, whether he blocked me or something like that. I don't know. But that comment I made that we need now to put head together to discuss the safety of Onyendu. That was the end. So I do not know what Ejofo is planning against Mazen Amdikan. I'm making this in public today because, you know, when you expose them, they will change their strategy and plan. And for Ejofo to also come and say he was shocked about the, the, uh, how Mazen Amdikan was acquitted and all that. Shows you a lot of, you know, when the Biafra spirit, when he begins to expose people, you don't know. Now, I want us to listen to Mike Ezekome, Chief Mike Ezekome. Hello. Continue doing. My question is this. You have done your, your part. The courts have given their judgment. Where do we go from here? We are at the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court will right the wrong. The law is clear. Okay. Nobody is going to intimidate the Supreme Court. Because the point here is not about intimidating the Supreme Court. Nobody will right the wrong. You know, the point is the Supreme Court will right the wrong. The one that they have the wrong that they have written right. What happened? Is it not in the same Nigeria that you have the Supreme Court? So the question is that if the Supreme Court right the wrong and they refuse to release Onyendu like they have done, what are you going to do? If the Supreme Court right the wrong and they have seen that they have refused to release Mazinam Dikano, what are you going to do? But I want you people to listen to Mike. They will have to do something so that Nigeria will not disintegrate. Yeah. I want to ask you. Are you hearing that? We have to do something so that Nigeria will not disintegrate. But the Jofo, who is the enemy within this particular Mazenam Dikano negative, is telling you that Mazenam Dikano say, stop making noise. While Mike Ezekume is saying, he release him so that Nigeria will not disintegrate. A Jofo is writing and writing for his money. I've told the court that releasing in the canoe is not what will break the Southeast or bring about unrest. Rather, that is what will calm the Southeast. Because the day that judgment was given on the 30th of October, yeah. from Abba so to Mwanya, yeah. from Enugu to Alicia, yeah. from Ibarriam to Arochuku, from Ohafia to Abriba, from Ojoto to Amesi, Uganda, 
everywhere in Igbo land, there was jubilation. Yes. From Olu yeah. to, to Mwaka. To, to everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> from Ishiago yes. to Abakaliki. To the Sulu government. Even in Lagos. Even in Lagos. Yeah. Even in Abuja. Yeah. Where I'm saying there was jubilation. So yeah. I told the God, yeah. if you want to have peaceful elections, I have peace in the southeast and by extension, the entire Nigerian Federation releasing African. Are you hearing that? He told God, if you want to have peace in Nigeria, and by extension, if you want to have election, peaceful election in Nigeria, release Mazen Ambikami. That is what Ezekome is saying. But what is Ejofo telling you? Ejofo is telling you that you are all criminals. All of you committing crime in the Southeast. All of you snatching cars. All of you kidnappers. All of you this, all of you that. Uh, Mazenam the Kanu say everywhere should come down. Mazenam the Kanu say everywhere should do this, everywhere should do that. It will fall automatically telling Nigerian government that Mazenam the Kanu is sending people to commit crime. Because what is the business of Mazenam the Kanu when people are committing crime? What is his business? Is he the one sending them? Is he the one sending them to commit crime? So why would a job for now leave the job to defend the man's name, the canon, and now becoming the spokesperson of the Southeast governors? That's why all of them went into, you know, hiding. Nobody is talking anymore because a job for is doing the job. And that is why if you are any person in this Biafra struggle and you are a volunteer, you know that. And you are listening to a Jofo. When a Jofo say, calm down. Tomorrow he will be released. Calm down. Next tomorrow he will be released. If you are listening to a Jofo, you know that you are also betraying Mazen Amdikan and Biafra struggle. The time to rise up is now. And let us prove to Nigeria government that a Jofo will no longer be useful. Let us prove to the Nigeria government that a Jofo has been busted and the time to expose him has come. And like, like I said, this is just part one. The only thing I review today in this whole entire broadcast is just two things, just few things, not even anything yet. I've just reviewed to you how the entire attack on Simon Epper started. I think that is one of the most important things I review today. I have just reviewed to you the original message from Mazen Amdekano, which a Jofo said over his dead body. And I'm asking you today, if a Jofo is saying over his dead body, is a Jofo noun part of IPOB that decide who pilot the affair of Biafra and who did not pilot the affair of Biafra. The reason is only one thing, because a Jofo compromised. Completely compromised. And he has become the spokesperson of the Southeast politicians and of course, by extension, the Nigeria state within the legal team. And you know, this broadcast, Mazin Amdikano will be alive and he will come out to meet it, to meet this broadcast. And let me review another one today. Barrister AGO4, each time the one they call fine boy want to go out to meet any politician. Barrister Ejo 4 will get angry. And today, I don't think fine boy is still going to Abuja to see Onyendu, to visit Onyendu in DSS. I don't know, I don't, I don't know when, when he visited last. But please, you will be following them on social media can attest to me. Because each time fine boy go to meet any politician without a Joe 4 being part of it, it becomes a problem. A Jofo divided everywhere to be in charge of who sees Onyendu and who did not see Onyendu. A Jofo tell DSS, nobody else should come to see Onyendu except him. 
or nobody comes to DSS to see Mazenam Dekano without him. Because he wants to control whatever goes in and whatever comes out. So I don't know whether he has stopped Five Boy from going to see Mazenam Dekano. And he will tell Mazenam Dekano the DSS did not allow him to come. Who knows? I want Biafrans to understand that Mazenam Dekano is very, very helpless. Mazenam Dekano surrounded himself with criminals and betrayers. Mazenam Dekano, nothing is going to happen to him that we know very well. But let me tell you, it is the way we fight Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I mean, how they are going to treat Mazenam Dekano. If you are for want to tell Nigeria government that IPOB is gone. A Jofo want to tell Nigeria government that he control IPOB. A Jofo want to tell Nigeria government that nothing will happen if anything happens to Mazenam Dekano. And I am here this evening to tell Nigeria government and a Jofo that we are not waiting for something to happen to Mazenam Dekano. We are going to start speaking in the language they will understand. For them to know that not even until something happened to Mazenam Dekano before we do something. They are going to know that for Mazenam Dekano to be kidnapped from Kenya, returned to Nigeria extraordinarily, and caught, acquitted him, discharged him, yet they still maneuver the court with the Jofo and underground and make elephant fly. We are not waiting until another thing happened to him. And whatever we are doing for Biafra, it is a decision that the entire Biafra people have decided to take. And the Mazenam Dekano has nothing to do with it. Some of you do not understand when I came publicly to say we are not receiving order from Onyendu again until Onyendu comes out. You know, I want you to follow our program. Consistency is the key. Follow our program from the beginning till now. I have never misfired. If you are waiting for me to misfire, you will wait till Biafra come. I will never misfire. I will never misfire by the special grace of God and by the grace of everything that follows me. I will never misfire. I will always fire at the right time. So some of you that have followed from the beginning till now, you will understand the reason why we take certain actions, certain decisions at certain point in time. So when we come to say we are not taking order from Onyendo again, from DSS Dungeon, you don't know where it is coming from because Ajo 4 was in charge. Ejofo was in charge and still in charge, but I don't think it will continue this after this night. Of course, he's going to do garagara. He will tell her, like you see, since yesterday, they thought I was going to, you know, say certain things. So since yesterday, we all, they all, everybody was on social media shouting. They were shouting. Someone like, but you attack uh, Mazinam the Kano lawyer, you attack Mazinam the Kano, but a lawyer, Jimako, has been under attack from the people, all this irat on social media. Is a lawyer, Jimako. Not a uh, leader person, not the person representing Mazin and the Khan. As a matter of fact, Aloy Ejima for our court have recorded sources. We have seen two sources he recorded in Nigeria court. Can you point one sources that Barrister Ejiofo have recorded on Mazin and the Khan? Not a release, not talking to DSS, paying the money they release people there. I am talking about Mazin and the Khan. We have seen Aloy Ejima making landmark in Nigeria court. Yet, he was the center of attack for almost one year. They attacked him. And they're still attacking him. And you know, whenever they post that thing online, they will come and say, oh, uh, uh, we, we, we have won. We have won. We have won. We have won. And, uh, and uh, so therefore, Aloy uh, Jimako uh, is uh, this. Aloy Jimako is that. At the end of the day, they were making program about him, attacking him left and right. And who was the one giving them the impetus to attack Aloy Ejimako? Ejiofo. Ejiofo, I want everyone to listen to this. <laughs> From Ishiago to Abakaliki. <laughs> The local government. Even in Lagos. Mm -hmm. Even in Lagos. Yeah. Yeah. Even in Abuja. Yeah. Where I'm staying. 
there was jubilation. So I told the God, yeah. if you want to have peaceful relations, I have peace in the Southeast, and by extension, the entire Nigerian Federation will live in Africa. Mm -hmm. That's what it's going to be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> From Ishiago to Abakaliki. To so the local government. Even in Lagos. Mm -hmm. Even in Lagos. Yeah. Even in Abuja, yeah. where I'm staying, there was jubilation. So yeah. I told the court, yeah. if you want to have peaceful relations, I have peace in the Southeast, and by extension, the entire Nigerian Federation will live in Africa. Mm -hmm. That's what it's going to be. Even in Abuja, yeah. where I'm staying, there was jubilation. So I told the court, yeah. if you want to have peaceful relations, I have peace in the southeast and by extension, the entire Nigerian Federation will live in Africa. Mm -hmm. That's what it's going to be. Are you hearing that? If you want to have peace in the entire east and by extension in other part of Nigeria, release Mazin Amdikan. But a Jofo is telling you a different thing. And the Jofo is regarding Mike Ezekume as Iroko 3 in law. Now, the Iroko 3 in law is telling you and telling Nigeria government that from what you have seen, oh, from what you have seen, if you want peace in Nigeria, release Mazin and the can. A Jofo is telling you a different thing. A Jofo don't know. A Jofo don't, doesn't even get information from the court again. A Jofo. The, the court already the you know you, you know so, you know there are a lot of things I'm not going to say today but which I'm going to say you know any day let the Jofo continue to write and he knows that I know many secrets already I believe he knows that and he knows that I can I am going to <laughs> I am going to unleash everything and he knows that so tell him this will be the last day he's going to write nonsense again let me tell you I want you people to listen to and read this with me. This is a Jofo on Twitter. A Jofo on Twitter. A Jofo, some of you may have seen this, uh, you know, I tweeted it. A, a Jofo Twitter. A Jofo did not even know when the court has filed or when the uh, Nigeria have filed another seven count charges against Mazinam Dikan. According to him, of course, he knows. He pretends he didn't know. Ejo 4 is telling Biafras here, our inquiries this evening upon reading about the phantom charges in the social media revealed to us that the rumored charge was surreptitiously but clandestinely filed by the federal government hours after the judgment. I do not know, you know, when you go and look up this particular surreptitiously and clandestinely fight, you will think that he has brought Buhari and the Fulane court down by putting this vocabulary. To him now, he has, you know, borrowed one Queen Elizabeth English. Go and check the meaning of it. And let me tell you, what this is telling you is that LGO4 did not even receive the court judgment, the court, uh, the, uh, the prosecutor's uh, application of additional charges against Mazin Amdikan. LGO4 did not receive it. LGO4 is also telling you that from the information he got on social media, it means that that particular application was filed hours after the judgment acquitting Mazin Amdikano and discharging him of anything, all the charges. So a few hours, the government filed that seven charge charges again. Age of four did not have the knowledge. Till yesterday, or day before yesterday, Age of four didn't have the knowledge. Age of four did not have the knowledge from the date the court took place because he said from the information they read on social media it was few hours after the court judgment so which means this particular seven charges has happened 
Many days. You can imagine where God gave that uh, onion uh, judgment. 13th of uh, October, right? From 13th of October, according to Age of Force information, till now, Age of Force did not get additional seven count charges against Marjan and Decano. Only to come and see it on social media. From Vanguard. And this is somebody that we are, or Bear France are blindly relying on as somebody who is going to bring Onyendu because he don't care. The only key, the only thing the Jofo, you know, the only thing that has overwhelmed the Jofo now is to calm Bear France down. That is his job. While Eze Kome is telling Nigeria government, giving them reasons to release Mazin Amdikan, a Jofo is killing that reason. A Jofo is trying so that Mike Eze Kome will not have any other reason to demand for the release of Mazin Amdikan. I am telling you people the fact. While Mazi, while, while Eze Kome will be writing to federal government, a lesson we not hold though, a Jofo is struggling to do everything possible to show Mazina, to show the government that you see there is no problem again. So Mazinam they cannot can stay there. So otherwise, what is going to be the reason for political solution and the reason for the release of Mazinam they can if there is no effort or from Biafrans in Biafra land? Nothing. There is nothing. So there is absolutely nothing. So as a come will now run out of idea. How to what he going to use to dis, to defend Mazin and the Kano? Yes, okay, we will run out of idea because there is no other reason. But when Biafrans begin to do the Biafra struggle to fight the government for Biafra to come, in the absence of Mazin and the Kano, they continue to push like nothing is happening. They will have no other reason because it is only Mazin and the Kano that will calm Biafrance down and he must come out to do it. It is only Mazina Bikano that will say, oh, Simon Ekpa, uh, let us see what he come. Let me, let us reason. I have this idea, I have that idea. Can we do like this? I will listen to him. Only him. Is it Barisa Jofa I'm going to listen to? Is it all these criminals that we have expelled I'm going to listen? Tell me who I'm going to listen to. Tell me who is going to talk to me. I, that I will, I'm going to listen to the person and forget the freedom of my people that I'm fighting to make history. Never. But Mazen Ambikano can do magic and I will listen to him. So you see the reason that every Biafran who have suffered and sacrificed for many years must rise up now and forget what Ejiofo is doing. Ejiofo has sold out. Ejiofo has compromised. Ejiofo is a threat to Mazinam the kind of freedom. Age of four is not just a threat to Mazinam the kind of freedom. Age of four is a threat to Biafra. And of course, I have not come here. I have not even made any exposition. No. This is not exposition. The only thing I expose today is the genesis of the crisis in Biafra struggle. And the genesis is Age of four. That is the, one of the biggest things I have exposed today. And Age of four by now knows that I know every secret from A to Z, all of them. And I have not come here to expose all of them. I will watch and see how he danced naked in the market after this broadcast today. I will sit back and watch him. Let me see how he's going to dance naked because that will determine the exposition I will come with next time. But as we are doing this, making sure that the Jofo will never breathe again in this legal team, we are going to focus on our Biafra. As our days are counting down, 112 days to go. Very soon, we are going to enter 111 days to go. We are not going to lose focus because of age of And like I said, the whole thing he have done in the secret, I have the information. So I'm going to wait for him to dance naked in the market. And the one they call um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, Madubugo, I have not come to you. I watched a video where he was in the office of DSS or whatever, and he was shouting. 
Mazen and the Kanu said, everywhere must come down. Mazen and the Kanu said, and these idiots, these criminals, are not talking about Fulanese that have surrendered our forest. No. All of them have sold out. They are not talking about those who kidnap people on the, in the expressway in Biafra land. No. They are talking about Biafras who have not obeyed them. Those who have found out that they are all criminals and they decided not to obey them. These are the people they are after. But today, I can tell Biafrans that we have succeeded that nobody is going to be killed again, like they did before. You know, when they were in charge, they started sending men after men. So they go to this one, they accuse him of uh, kidnapping, they kill him. They go to that one, they accuse him of kidnapping. Today, we have been able to solve this problem, and anybody that dies now is either in the hand of the Nigeria government or they use the Nigeria government to kill the person. Nobody is going to take the life of any Biafra again. We have succeeded in doing that. And those who, who have committed this crime, they are all on the run. And you know yourself. You know you are running. And you will continue to run. So you can come on social media to brag and threaten Biafra that onion do say, onion do say, onion do say, that onion do say, onion do say is ending today. But it's the job for you must take your time and mind your business if ever you will continue to be in this legal team. And you are not a lead counsel. You are not a lead counsel. The lead counsel is Mike Ezekome. So I don't know which one are you are writing, why you are reporting and whatever. You come to tell Mazen and the Kano is in good spirit. Mazen and the Kano is not eating. Mazen and the Kano has been denied this and denied that. And all these things are coming from one person. No other person in the legal field is writing. Age of Four has YouTube channel. They accuse Simon Ekpa of having YouTube channel. Age of Four have YouTube channel. Age of Four will share all the articles he write from one platform to another, from one article, uh, you know, blog to another. Age of Four have many blogs he control. Age of Four have own YouTube, and they accuse Simon Ekpa of having YouTube. Are you aware that Barasa Age of Four have YouTube too? He has become a social media lawyer, a blogger lawyer. They say Samanekpa have YouTube. Samanekpa monetizes YouTube. A Barista Jofo have YouTube. What is Barista Jofo doing with YouTube? Mazen and Bikanu case. Are you aware? Are you aware that Barista Jofo have YouTube? A Jofo have to leave the legal team. And we are going to do everything to make him leave the legal team. He is not qualified by all ramification. Age of four has betrayed Biafra and the Mazen Namdikano. You people don't know that Age of four have YouTube. I am telling you the fact. What is Age of four doing with YouTube? You don't know? You don't know Age of four have YouTube? What do you people know? Age of four have YouTube. Where he, everything he shared it on YouTube. He share, he post article, blog, everything he share. Using Mazen Namdikano and they are accusing Simon Ekpa. Are you people aware of that? And I ask, what is the Jofo doing with YouTube channel? Or, or, or in or, or in Mazen Namdikano's head. Or in in I pop head, or you know what is he doing with your YouTube channel? Did your father have YouTube channel? He want to be the the uh, the broadcaster where he stops Simon Ekpa from broadcasting on Radio Biafra and pretend that uh, it was the criminals in the US. He have his own YouTube channel where he post his video. Every this thing he do, he post it there. Every interview he posted there. Who are the people behind it? These who were quite so writers, these criminals. Anyhow, one naira, when they get Jofo, give them two naira, three naira, everybody is jumping. We are Umuchuku writers reporting from Abuja. And the Umuchuku writers reporting from Abuja, they are going to court in Abuja. Nobody have arrested them. Nobody have arrested them. A Jofo is covered. Are they not writing for Biafra? Ask yourself question. How many of you? 
who are in Biafra struggle, broadcasting, will walk truly and go to Abuja and go there and say, you are commenting from Radio Biafra, you are reporting from Radio Biafra, and then you have the impetus to say, I am reporting from Radio Biafra in Abuja. But these criminals, Umuchuku writers, they go to a Jofo, stand in Uku Uku Mango, and be telling a Jofo, we are reporting from Umuchuku writers. Are the DSS agents don't know what is Umuchuku writers? Are they not aware that Umuchuku writers are the ones that are also fighting for Biafra? I am making a common sense, but it's to show you who is truly fighting for Biafra and who is not fighting for Biafra. How many of you today will go there and report that you are from Radio Biafra? You will not. You will not. Umuchukurata, Umuchukurata, in Abuja, where DSS, the den of DSS. I want you to understand that if you allow yourself to be used by barrister age of four criminality against Mazin Amdikano, you will have yourself to blame at the end of the day. You have, you have yourself to blame. Believe me, you will have yourself to blame at the end of the day. Believe me. So do not think that, uh, oh, uh, uh, this one and that one. Uh, so I want you people to understand that as I'm talking to you today, as I'm talking to you today, Fulani are kidnapping in Biafra land. And this uh, one, they call Marubugo, which I have not even come to him. I will not address him now. I'm still watching him. They have never come to give statement that, oh, Luko, Fulani are killing people, abducting people. Rather, all this Fulani abduction and kidnapping, they say is Mazin Namdikano uh, boys. Uh, Mazin Namdikano is ordering his boys to come down. <laughs> Oh yeah, the police not to far go here. I want to pack a cerebral now. My motor ending cake kidnapped from the way on him. I had chain a can of buffet buffet. Oh, but I know about Nigeria. What is it? It's a division. I'll be back on it. It's a division. I can assign that called or any new way back on a four corner. Over on the iPod, when I know all Sata. Over on the SN, I can give us a banine. Different has men now never know a thing. Hey, what am I this week? Because on our since this week, only the one name I make with Tata. Since this week, you can't see the state in the state. 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 Do we still belong in this, in this country? You can't see the state in the state. 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 You can't see the state in the state this morning. This morning, no road to go. Oh, so we're talking. We're going to have to go. We're going to have to go. We're going to go. We're going to have 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 to go. Fulani has men take over our land. 
Yes, and ever won a big and I ran and I can only walk out to us, Ruby. I pop ever won a banner and I can only walk out to us, Ruby. Mazi Samuan, Bega, and Unca very soon. Then no, 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 yes, and ever won a big and I ran and I can only walk out to us, Ruby. I pop ever won a banner and I can only walk out to us, Ruby. Mazi Samuan, Bega, and Unca very soon. Then no, 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 all those of Okona Cabro, Community Flanny has met in this week in our road, you go now, bam, 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 naked now for Noza, Carigo, Moton de Marataga, Fonosa, almost in this job, Bashimoya and Abbey. Now you understand, in all these things, you can never hear a Jofo write about the criminals, the terrorists, and the kidnapping by the Fulanese in Biafra land. You can never hear a Jofo like that. And that is the reason why everybody must open your eyes and know the enemies within. Adam, how are you? Oh my God. We have the president in our midst. All right. And of course, like I said, if I hear Pim again, Ejiofor 4 knows that many things will be made open. Ejiofor 4 knows that very well. So I have come again the way I normally won. And this particular fight has started today. Ejiofor 4 must give way for a more competent and a more selfless lawyer to take over the case of Mazin Amdekano. Ejiofor is also sawing his hand in many, many dubious things, many criminal acts, which I will make public if he dare me. So he is not morally sound to defend Mazen Amdikano. Every spirit in Biafra land is against Ejiofor. Ejiofor has sawed his hand and he is not pure anymore. Mazenam the Kano case is more of spiritual than going to court. Jofo has sinned against the law of the land. And I'm telling you today that one more right up from a Jofo, I will come and do wonder. And let me tell you, it will touch everybody that has been involved. So let me hear another write up again, condemning Biafrans from Ejiofo, instead of allowing a competent, more competent man to continue to pilot the affair of the legal team. Why we fight the government for the demand of our freedom and the release of Mazin Amdikano. It has nothing to do with Mazin Amdikano. The next is the information on money sharing. Let me hear Pim again from Barrister Ejiofo, Etuamako Egosube. My own concern is that I promised Mazin Namdikano that I will be the last person to disappoint him. And I told this Ejiofo every time. Tell Onyendu that Simon Ekba say, I will be the last person that will disappoint him. This man will go there and be doing something else. Ikoge Ejugo. We are going to continue. Tomorrow, Remain the seat at home, Monday seat at home in Biafra land as we continue to demand the release of Mazinam Bikanu against Barrister Ejiofor, the spokesperson of Nigeria. We will continue to demand the release of Mazinam Bikanu and we continue to sit at home while we are cooking our beans, which is already almost done to be served. From here, I say, may God bless Mazen Amdikano. May God bless Biafra. May God bless Oduduwa. May God bless Sunday Iboho. May God bless Professor Banji. May God bless Omoa than their husband. God bless our autopiloted IPOB media, media team. May God bless those who will understand that the game has changed and they will come to support this liberation. May God bless also those who have repented, those who have come to understand that I am never a threat to them. Those who have never, who have come to understand that I mean well for the struggle and for Mazin Amdikano. 
May God bless all of you. May God bless you watching today. May God bless all our supporters, those praying for us. May God bless and also that are supporting Biafra struggle. May God bless all the SMOs, pastors, reverend fathers, all of you that are praying for us. May God bless all of you. From here, from me, is good evening. How do you cage? Uh...